the winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. You're saying Tessa reported her mother because she was having supply issues? Tessa came to me because she was honestly concerned. <laughs> right. I was legally required to report Tessa's complaint, even if I didn't agree. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? Lack of appropriate supervision? Inattention to a child's psychological care? Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. We saw those towny complaints against Mary Ann Tyler. It wasn't just Tessa's word. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, but it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust, but you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. All right, I'm really gonna have to kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. And I'm as wicked as it gets. Tyler, what's up? I, uh, feel like I owe you an apology. Oh yeah? What for? Breaking and entering? Invasion of privacy? Sorry. It was messed up. Eh, don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Just don't ever pull that shit again. So, uh, I saw the invoice from Fireweed. When you were going through my stuff? Right. 
I, uh... We don't have to talk about it. Oh, uh, actually, no. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. Shoot, well, that went better than I was afraid it would. What happened up there? Long story. Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Yep. Let's roll on. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we going to do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not going to do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. Stop to take a leak. Just as I was finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring. Hey guys, I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Oh hey, Tyler from the boat, right? Huh. We keep bumping into each other, don't we? What were you guys talking about? I don't think you'd be interested. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Sorry. Is Tom busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Hmm. Do you know if Tessa's gonna be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Doing some shopping? Yep. 
Just the essentials. Well, don't let me stop you. Have a nice day, sir. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely, but I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. I guess that makes sense. But we need to know what really happened. You deserve that. And I'm sorry if some folks have been less than helpful, but you've got to give people time. Especially Tessa. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there, uh... Anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa and she's not here. Uh. She, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. 
Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. I know, but I'll be there too, and Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get this door closed, so go give him a hand. All right, I already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Molto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? I wonder what's in that box. We could use some of that at the house. Why am I standing here looking at this? Hold on, let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. <laughs> Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on. Look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Honestly, it's beautiful. Hey, don't make fun of me. I'm not. Well, maybe a little bit, but I like it. For real. Well, it helps to have a good model. So this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker, I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Why am I standing here looking at this? Oh, I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so. Is that the mangy muskrat?
Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah, that's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it. Hey, you remember the ad for this? What was their slogan again? Huh, something poetic about time travel and life being weird, I think. You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. <laughs> Tired already? So... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh, yeah? We'll see. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. Damn it. Hey, is it cool that we're throwing these toys around? Aren't you guys gonna like sell them? Nah, supplier made a typo on Becky. Can't sell any of them. Cool. No harm, no foul then. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay. I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here. Let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah. Alright. Cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. That's actually super thoughtful. Thank you. You sound surprised. No, sorry. I'm just not used to people randomly doing nice things for me. Oh, I'll have to fix that.
I'm surprised Tessa let you hang this up. Yeah, she hates it. But as long as I don't promote my lifestyle in front of the customers, she doesn't say anything. Man, must be exhausting to spend your days educating these people. <laughs> Here's the thing, I don't. Opening the minds of this town will be a full-time fucking job. And emotional labor pays shit. Hey, I hope this isn't too personal, but you ever been with anyone in Delos Crossing? I dated a guy in high school for a minute, but we had to keep it quiet. I've been with a few other people, but that shit's tricky out here. I and mean, what about you? You ever been with a guy? I mean, assuming you're into guys, which <laughs> I guess I kind of did. I've never really been with anybody. I guess I was too busy processing trauma or whatever. But if I met a guy I was into, who knows? Do you ever get lonely in Delos Crossing? Yeah, sometimes. So I'm always in Juno working with the JCE, meeting new people. I gotta make my shit happen for me because no one else will. Right. I feel you. Anyway. And I'm done. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or...? Nah, but same clan. Which clan? Octopus clan. Raven Moity. Huh. Badass. So, you close with everybody in the clan? Yeah, we're pretty tight-knit. I mean, we're all kind of spread out, so I don't know everyone that well, but they're still family. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him's a vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright. I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but I'm not totally sure how I feel about that though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. No way. Have you ever confronted her about it? Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man, that has to be rough. It is. But out here, just surviving is a form of protest. Alright. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronan. You mean the OG Ronan? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. Fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah. Figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty alright. <laughs> but you're not too bad yourself. I try not to be. Especially around guys I'm trying to impress. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. It pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. 
Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. You might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Well, golly gee, Michael. I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries, especially after, you know. I promise after this, we can chill at the house, cool? Hey, graves are back that way. So, did you ever come back? Keep it down. Better? Much. Why do people always feel like they have to whisper in cemeteries? I don't know. Probably just a mirror in your own thing. Oh, what? Monkey see, monkey do. <sighs> yeah. Uh, anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. I've never had a reason to. Thankfully. Why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> always. She loved us, a lot, but sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave, just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered it wrong? Well, this might take a while. Not uh, this one. De Leon. That's the one. <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time.
go, Eddie? You can hold my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Wait, is this the one we called Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way up to the clouds. Everything does when you're four feet tall. When did Michael's uncle die? Last year. It was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable. So, how are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? <laughs> I think I'm getting the picture. <laughs> Not yet you aren't. As grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at, even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. You and your uncle were really close, huh? Definitely. I could push his buttons without even trying. My family's old school clink it. I spent more time with my uncle than my dad. He was the first person to test out all my new recipes. Even before Allison. Yes, I should thank Uncle William for saving me from a muffin top. If you need a new taste tester, sign me up. As if you had a choice. I plan to hit you both up for feedback my whole way through school. I'm in. As long as there's nothing as adventurous as that clinket style salmon with pepper and saffron. Pff, no, I'm promising that. Fortune favors the bowl, goes double for food. Talk to you later. You bet. So. How are you, um, holding up? <sighs> Everything's such a mess. I thought we'd almost be done packing by now. I'm so ready to put this place behind us. At least Mr. Hollywood Handsome over there is good company. Funny how you never mentioned what your brother looked like before he got into town. Oh, I just thought I'd surprise you. Hey, you do realize I can hear you, right? Cover your ears, the grown-ups are talking. Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Juna's gonna seem real boring after all this, huh? God, boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. of history. What's that mean? Not sure, but Michael should know. How's it going? 
Hey, can I ask you something about this place? Yeah, shoot. What's the story behind the Clinkett Memorial? May the memory of our dearly departed never be lost in the chaos of history. That was Uncle William. <laughs> lost in the chaos of history? Well, let's say you wanted room for a school or a road and didn't give a shit about ethics. Easy. You just dug up our ancestors. That shit happened a lot. God. Assholes. Yeah. And I mean, it still happens, but not as much. We have the elders to thank for that. I'll stop bugging you now. Well, I'm here if you're ever curious. Talk to you later. You bet. Building a house right next to the cemetery. Hard to think of a worse idea than that. Yeah, you let me know if you ever meet one. 